Howdy duty fellas, this is y'all super poopy, and let me tell you something, we're gonna be looking at something really freaking awesome. What is it? The Mexican military, alright? Because lately the Mexican military has been getting its shit straight so good to the point where it's like, whoa, this is so freaking awesome. And let me tell you something that's so freaking awesome about the Mexican military that you guys will probably like. They have such a diverse amount of weapons. There isn't a gun the Mexican military doesn't even use, and that also includes the Policia Federal of Mexico, alright? The police force is armed to the tooth because, again, you got to keep in mind that there's a lot of corruption in Mexico and the cartels are very powerful, okay? Um, just now, they finally got a, Mexico finally got a president that actually is working for the Mexican people because before AMNO, nothing but corrupt presidents, all right? In fact, uh, I forgot, was it Felipe Calderon? I for One of the past presidents was basically using the Mexican military to get rid of rival cartels because the president was on the side of a certain cartel. Anyways, I'm not going to go too much into detail about that. I looked into it a long time ago and I'm kind of faded about it. But, you know, huge shout out to AMLO for fixing, uh, you know, for like increasing the power of the military and uh, draining the swamp. You know, he's like, um, it's like Mexico's version of Donald Trump. And arguably, Am AMLO is honestly better than Donald Trump because Donald Trump has backstabbed the American people a couple times. But anyways, let's not go too into that. Uh, uh, this isn't a political show right here. We just want to look at the Mexican military and their armament because seriously, the Mexican military has been getting its shit straight so hard that it's just absolutely impressive. They're kicking the cartel's ass. And of course, they have the Mexican military has gotten its ass kicked a couple times in the past, including the recent uh, battle um, for uh, Chapo Guzman's son, which unfortunately the Mexican military literally gave him back to the cartel. So that was a huge embarrassment to the Mexican, uh, you know, to Mexico overall. So, you know, but at the same time, you know, things take time and you got to keep in mind that Mexico has had so many years of corruption that the cartel is just so goddamn powerful. But, you know, I have faith in AMLO and, you know, I, I, I have faith in the Mexican military, you know. You got a lot of brave and awesome people. Of course, you will see a lot of stupid shit in the Mexican military, but... You know, I still have faith in them, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I support their fight against the cartel and fixing Mexico. Because you got to keep in mind, you know, I, I, I come from Mexico. So, you know, I am an American patriot. I am a nationalist. But I also care about, you know, the place where I where I somewhat come from. You know, I was born in San Diego, but Mexico is still a part of me. But anyways, enough about that. Uh, let's get right into these awesome pictures of the Mexican military and the Policia Federal de Mexico. Also, before we get started, quick disclaimer. Uh, now, if you look at the rifle in this gentleman's hand, it is known as the FX-05. However, while I was making this video, I made a mistake and called it the FX-08. So just know it's the FX-05. Zero five, okay? It's not the FX-08. So that was my bad, my mistake. So, you know, whenever you look this up, Type in FX05 and uh, just ignore me when I say FX08 because it's actually the FX05. All right, let's continue. Uh, clickety. Now, let's look at the first picture right here. Uh, now, this is a soldier of the army, the Mexican army. How do you know that? Because of the camouflage pattern, obviously. it's uh, oh, Mexico, they have their own, like, each branch gets their own camouflage, which is pretty cool. Kind of like in America, how, like, you know, it all started with the Marines, and then the army was like, I want digital camouflage too, and they invented the shitty ACU, and they finally went back to the more traditional camouflage, which is multicam. Which is a modernized version of Woodland. But uh, again, let's not go off topic. Um, but yeah, the camouflage looks very similar to the Russian digital flora. Uh, but it's got its own unique touch. Obviously, there's a lot of jungle in Mexico. Because as you know, Mexico is basically like a thin stick in the bottom. And uh, it's surrounded by beach. So it's going to be very humid, very green. So, you know... It matches the environment. And also they have a desert version of that. And as you can see, I I believe he is armed with what uh, seems to be a Colt M4. Uh, I did research on what the Mexican military uses. And I believe they use Colts to be specific. However, that could be different. I've seen them use H&Ks. I've seen them use 416s. 
again a lot of diversity and uh you know i've seen uppers like this for ars for sale and they're made by colt as you can see as a holographic site and the mexican military straight up not gonna fuck he's got like uh what looks to be some sort of 45 or maybe 50 round mag look how long that thing is freaking awesome he's got a grip a bipod this guy set up pretty good you know what i'm saying that's a that's a good build it's a nice rifle and as you can see he also has a sidearm on his leg which i assume is an h and k p7 that is the main sidearm of the mexican military and also something that's very unique is uh about this picture specifically is that he's wearing some sort of uh ribbon some sort of uniform decoration if you look on his uh, uh right shoulder and the thing about the mexican military is that they use shoulder boards and as you can see they don't use like the combat shirts as you can see it's it's not tucked in you can see the bottom of his shirt under his belt so the, you know that's still pretty classic and uh you know they, they also roll up their sleeves just like army troops but yeah so that's kind of weird that he's wearing a dress ribbon on his uniform despite him being in full tactical gear and it looks like he's gonna get involved in some shit you know what i'm saying so that's pretty interesting anyways let's look at the next picture here oh another very cool one another mexican army soldier um he has a armband i believe it says g and then it's gonna have n which means guardia nacional uh, that mean that translates to um uh, uh, national guard as you know mexico has the corruption was so bad in mexico that they straight up just made a new branch which is uh, the National Guard. Uh, apparently Mexico hasn't had a National Guard. Uh, AMLO actually made this new branch. And uh, it's very great because they're more dedicated to the people and helping out the community. Because, you know, unfortunately, not too long ago, the Mexican, like Mexican Marines and the new National Guard had to raid an entire police station in Mexico. That's right. They had the military raid an entire police station in Mexico. That's how bad the corruption was in that city. But hey, it's progress they're doing something about it you know what i'm saying and as you can see he has a saw m249 with that old um what stock uh i've last i i know troops in iraq used to use those like tr troops that saw combat in, in early 2000s in iraq so you know it might be a surplus m249 or sometimes you know uh mexico buys the patents and they make the guns in their own country also he's armed with an fx08 uh What's it called? The Mahuitl or Zukoya? Something like that. It, it's very traditional. It's like an Aztec name. But, you know, overall, it's called the FX-08, I believe. And it's very similar to the G-36. In fact, Heckler and Koch tried to sue Mexico uh, because they thought the gun was a direct copy of the G-36. But we're going to go more into detail to, into that later because uh i do have a picture of the rifle itself and i'll talk more about that anyways next picture over here we have the standard marine the marina or you know mexican marine as you can see he's armed with a typical m4 nothing really special about it i mean obviously it's an m4 it's a good quality weapon and this is the new camouflage of the mexican marines which is freaking awesome and fun fact this very camouflage you're looking at right now was uh it was actually considered uh for the u.s army the u.s army was actually looking into this very camouflage and replacing the acu for it and uh at the end of the day uh, uh the u.s army ended up using the multicam and now the mexican marines have this all right try to look for this camouflage online try to buy this camouflage on your own you won't you won't because the mexican military already claimed it uh, why? Because uh, a lot of times the cartel will get Mexican military uniforms and they'll fuck around with people and not in a good way, all right? Because, uh, and, and that's overall why the Me oh, my bad. The Mexican military got new uniforms because the Mexican military before this was just using American camouflage. They were using DCU, like you see in Iraq with American troops, and American woodland. The only difference is they had shoulder boards. And obviously, you could just go to America, get surplus uniforms, basic gear. And people who don't know, they're just going to assume you're a soldier in Mexico. You know what I'm saying? And it's not going to be a good day. So that's why it is extremely difficult to get Mexican military surplus. And as you know, I actually got some. So it's freaking awesome. But as you can see, what's very interesting about this is that he actually has mag pouches on his, like, 
outer thighs or what, what do you call it like on the side of his legs i've never seen that before which is pretty cool as you can see he's very lightweight he has a very light plate carrier uh barely has any gear so this guy looks like a shock trooper you know what i'm saying uh i could uh, you know he I, I could probably run a marathon in that he looks so lightweight uh but lightly equipped and uh you know i'm just really liking that like i really fuck with this camouflage i really fuck with that plate carrier and everything and you know again mexico i mean th th this marine he's got the combat shirt and as you see the other army soldiers they don't have the the combat shirts you know what i'm saying how it's like soft in the middle so your skin could breathe and you know the play carrier just goes right there um again i don't know the name of a lot of these things but yeah um also they got knee pads elbow pads however it'd be better if they got trousers that all that have like those built-in knee pads and elbow pads that'd be greater and uh other than that they're gucci as fuck but they're his rifle does look a little outdated obviously he's got an m4 with fixed sights and uh you know a dot sight would be great because you know sometimes the cartel will attack you at night and uh if you like in an airsoft fight i've been in a night airsoft fight and iron sights are not the way to go you know what i'm saying it's not a real battlefield but hey man try aiming at night with iron sights you're not gonna have a good time anyways next picture now over here we have some female army soldiers as you can see they have the fx08 very similar to the g36 however the operating system is different and that's why ultimately heckler and koch could not sue the mexican government which is awesome but yeah you know um the g36 was used a lot by the mexican military and that's why i guess a lot of troops were comfortable with the g36 so they wanted something similar and something that felt just right you know what i'm saying so as you can see it has a collapsible stock or a foldable stock I don't think collapsible. What is the difference between collapsible and... Yeah. Well, basically, the stock folds. You you, you got eyes. <laughs> but, yeah. It's a very nice rifle. It doesn't have a top rail, so it doesn't have the effect of, like, raising that holographic sight too much. As you can see, it's got Picatinny rail. You could also have Picatinny rail on the side, so that's freaking awesome. And, um... Yeah, these troops, uh, they're mainly just parading. Obviously, um, you know, you will rarely see soldiers fighting with their berets on. Obviously, they're going to have helmets or regular caps on uh, when they're confronting the cartel. But yeah, this is overall just a parade picture of female army soldiers. Um, I know in Mexico, they kind of mix the genders a lot when it comes to the Mexican military. So, you know, a lot of diversity in that. And I know a lot of fucking hipsters like that shit. But, you know, it's whatever. Anyways, next picture over here <coughs> excuse me so over here again you have examples of the policia federal this picture is a little bit older it seems <clears throat> and as you can see the cops have some sort of ar-10 rifle because look at that big ass magazine it basically looks like an m4 but and that's the thing about these rifles i've only seen the mexican military use them I've never seen AR-10s like this. There's nothing like I've ever seen before. And I got to look it up. Because it's literally an M4 with a fat goddamn magazine. Like, holy shit, that's dummy thick for an M4. You know what I'm saying? And honestly, I don't know what to think about it. Like, it's weird. So I assume it's like some sort of AR-10 and 308 or something. It's very interesting. But yeah, it's very common with the Policia Federal, which is, you know, the elite police in Mexico. And, uh... I don't even think they have play carriers or anything, but they wear the typical blue uniform. They got the badge and everything. And as you can see, they have a confiscated um, Kalashnikov rifle. Now, um, uh, do forgive me. Sometimes I can't tell the difference between an AKM and an AK-47 besides the muzzle break. Uh, other than that, I can't really tell. So please do correct me if I'm wrong. So, you know, I'm just going to refer to this as a Kalashnikov rifle because when I say that, I'm not wrong. All right. So as you can see, it's all Gucci'd out. It's freaking gold, silver, and the ammo looks like shit. It looks like steel cased ammo. <laughs> you know, obviously, when you spend all your money on Gucciing out an AK, you're only going to be able to afford what is it like? 60 rounds of 762 by 39 and whatever the hell is on that bag up to the right. So yeah, very interesting. Very awesome capture. And um, shit. You know, I'm not going to lie, I, I I genuinely do like these Gucci out rifles. I, I am a big fan of, of dress pistols and dress rifles. However, I wouldn't shoot them much or anything like that because, you know, the cartel and uh, a lot of dictators have given them a bad name. But I could give two shits because they're very cool collectibles. Anyways, next picture. 
over here we have a Mex the Mexican military, but this is like way back when, probably like early 2000s. As you can see, they're wearing classic American woodland. Obviously, it's pendant because you know the difference between a me oh, oh shit, my bad. Give me a second. Sorry, just a scam caller. But as you can see, yeah. Uh, again, with the shoulder boards, and they have the dress ribbons on the shoulder boards, so that's very interesting that they have some sort of decoration on a combat uniform. But as you can see, they're armed with G3s. All right, G3s was like the main standard weapon in Mexico, and it still kind of is. You'll still see the G3s being used a lot in 308, so that's a powerful round. As you can see, he's got a grenade launcher. The, the guy in the front's got a grenade launcher for that G3, so that's very interesting. I've never seen a grenade launcher on a G3, very awesome and you got the belt fed version of the g3 unfortunately i forgot what it's called but yeah i know all of these are h and k the mexican military uses a lot of german weapons okay very popular very common and if it's not that then they'll use a lot of surplus american m16s and stuff but uh you know um this is this is what the uniform used to look like in back and I tell you, I used to go to Mexico a lot as a kid, and I would see these guys all geared up just like this. These are the troops that were patrolling the city, mainly in desert camouflage, which was DCU. But it was just very cool as a kid, very inspiring. And I was like, dude, these guys look freaking awesome, and they got big guns. But at, at the time, I was just a little kid, so I didn't really think about the stresses these poor soldiers went through. But still, very awesome, and huge shout out to them, you know, especially in Tijuana. I used to go to Tijuana a lot and uh this is what you would see all the time just this all these troops patrolling it was a fucking war zone but since i was a kid it never really went through my head that i hey i'm walking in the middle of a fucking war zone and you know the zetas used to control a lot of tijuana so it's pretty crazy that i actually got to experience that somewhat but anyways next picture Ooh, over here another good one another example of german weapons in the mexican military um now over here they got a phased out vest okay you don't see these vests used anymore uh you do see them a little bit again they have the dress ribbon for some reason he's got the cap and he has an h and k mp5 very cool and nine millimeter now i can't tell what that pistol is but I have seen the Mexican military use that H and K P7 or the Browning High Power. However, I don't, I can't tell from the grips. It just looks like a very basic grip, and as you can see, it looks like some sort of Alice holster. So very interesting. And I have seen a lot of Mexican soldiers use something very similar to Alice gear. So you know, it's not surprising uh, seeing that type of holster. I forgot what the holster is called, but I have one. And you'll see a lot of American troops use these during the Gulf War and even Iraq. Okay, so that's very cool seeing the Mexican military use a lot of surplus. You know, the Mexican military definitely does not let anything go to waste. Despite them getting new gear and a lot of cool shit, you know what I'm saying? And again, this Mexican army specifically, because you can tell because of the camouflage, very similar to Russian digital flora. Very cool. Anyways, let's look at the next picture. Over here, this one. This is Policia Federal, all right? Name another police force that unironically uses a freaking M60. So freaking awesome, all right? This cop, that that is big dick energy. This guy feels like the shit. I know I would if I was carrying an M60, all right? But of course, you got to keep in mind that the cartels also have this kind of firepower. And that's why simple cops look like freaking... They look like spec ops, all right? In Mexico, that's why simple cops have belt-fed machine guns, like top-tier rifles. Okay, Mexico, it, 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 like there's a lot of nice places in Mexico, such as Guanajuato. Recommend you go there. But in the ugly areas, they're really fucking ugly. So you got to be well-armed. And as you can see, that belt goes on forever on that M60. And these guys are ready to fight. So, you know, huge shout-out to them. But at the same time, you got to keep in mind that a lot of these cops, unfortunately, are corrupted. So, you know, that also freaking sucks. So, you know, if you go touring to Mexico, you go touring where you're going to tour. Don't fucking explore, okay? You know, that place is dangerous. But, you know, the nice areas are very nice. So, you know, don't feel too fucking paranoid or anything like that. Um... But as you can see, the guys in the back have basic M4s with fixed sights. Still very cool, very good weapons. But again, you know, you need to upgrade to those dot sights or at least night sights so you can see at night. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to be spraying and praying. You know what I'm saying? But still very cool M60 covered in Picatinny rail with a long ass bullet belt. That thing is a beast and that guy must feel really cool. Anyways, next picture. 
Over here, you have Mexican Marines training with U.S. Marines with their new Colt rifles. I believe they're Colts. Uh, what the what you see the U.S. Marine using right here is most likely an FN M4. Okay, I actually didn't know this not too long ago, but FN is the one who's making the M4s for the U.S. military. That's right, a Belgium company, which is pretty interesting. You know, I don't I, I fucks with FN in a positive way, but like, when are we gonna start using American made? You know what I'm saying? Or is it FN USA? Because I know there's Kalashnikov US. Oh, oh, I am so sorry. Oh, that was gross. But yeah, very interesting. You know, the, the Marines, the US Marines have FN M4s. So we were very cool. And you'll see the Mexican Marine with uh, what I believe is a Colt M4. Unfortunately, he does not have sights. I guess the Mexican military does not have the funding for that. But hey, if I were in the Mexican military, I would just buy my own sights. Because, you know, sights are going to be worth it, you know. And, uh... Uh, I know the the American military is going to get rid of its ACOGs. So, you know, it'd be a good idea for Mexico to buy surplus ACOGs from the U.S. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they already have a lot of surplus from other countries. So, why not just buy off America's ACOGs, which they're get, they're replacing for, I believe, some sort of Sig Sauer sights or something like that, or scopes, which is very cool. As you can see, they're all decked out. Like, look, it... Mexico no longer looks like a third world country shithole military. They're up to date. They're Gucci as fuck. That's why I'm making this video. Because Mexico's military has just improved so much. You know what I'm saying? The arguably, like, look look at his uniform. Now, look at the U.S. Marines. The U.S. Marines got faded as, you know, and, and don't get me wrong. I'm not dissing the Marines. And, you know, Marines make do with what they got. But it's just a huge difference, you know. Uh, Mexican military used to look like a third third world military or some shit and now they just they really stepped up their game and it's, it's really awesome to see that you know because you know a, a lot of countries depend on the US military to do everything for them and Mexico is actually making an effort to fix their own shit which is awesome you know anyways next picture over here, another cool picture of the Policia Federal of Mexico, the Mexican police. And you'll see that he has one of those small, modernized Galil rifles. Freaking awesome. Uh, it would be awesome to see uh, one of those bigger, like the SAR Galil, the SAR, which is very cool. But, you know, uh, obviously this is a short rifle, ideal for indoor combat. As you can see, he has a short scope on it, some sort of sight. Probably laser sighted, which is freaking awesome. You know, progress. And as you can see, he has a sidearm. All these cops have sidearms. That is really good, all right? Because uh, a lot of militaries, they'll just get their rifle and no sidearm. And, you know, things get very ugly in Mexico. You're obviously dealing with urban combat in a lot of buildings. Again, I'm not a veteran. But, you know, you notice things. You notice things. Like, I hear a lot of shit from veterans and... What a pain in the ass it is to fight in like uh, a situation like Fallujah where you're surrounded by buildings, there's a lot of windows, and there's a lot of roofs where you could get shot from. It's a scary thing. And of course, they have the H&K P7 pistols. And uh, what that looks like is a Galil with a 35 round mag. One of them, I, I think South, Ameri uh, South Africa still uses these Galils. And uh, yes, they are very popular in the Mexican military. Blue uniforms, black everything else. Very cool, very cool. Um, <coughs> give me a second to lube my throat. Okay, next picture. Over here. An example of American surplus used in the Mexican military. Now, this is more of an earlier picture. As you can see, he has like the old... like These are Mexican Marines, in case you didn't know. But what you will notice is that their camouflage is different. So this was a little bit earlier. This camouflage, it's, it's like woodland, but it's digitized. And I almost got my hands on this, but I lost the bid, unfortunately. And it's a very cool camouflage. Uh, but yeah, this uh, this lasted till like the early 2000s, and it recently ended. I know Special Forces still use, uh, Mexican Special Forces still use this camouflage. And as you can see, he has an M16A2 with the M203 grenade launcher. Very awesome. Um... And this is uh, back when the Marines were still getting, like, new shit. Pretty cool. You see they have the typical vintage vests. Nothing but American surplus and, uh, you know, that new woodland camouflage, which is very cool. Um, other than that, there's not much to this picture. Just that 
you know, a, a good example of American surplus in Mexican military hands. As you can see, they got the fixed sights and everything, grenade launcher sights. You know, you will no longer see the Mexican military use these. Uh, in fact, a lot of M16s got donated to the Afghan police force, which sucks because a lot of the Mexican, I mean, the Afghan troops that get donated these M M16s, a lot of them have very weak morale, and once they bump into al-qaeda or isis they'll just surrender their weapons and surrender themselves because they're big pussies so it, basically it's like the u.s government is giving those rifles to terrorists you know what i'm saying you know uh, and a lot of people would like to think that like oh and, and to some extent yeah i i wouldn't doubt it if the government like the cia is funding terrorism but at the same time you got to keep in mind that this is also a factor of like you know in Afghanistan, how troops just surrender all their shit, and they basically just give them top-notch gear from the USA to terrorist groups, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's not all the CIA, like, fuck the CIA, yeah, but, you know, it's not, it's not always the government's fault, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, <laughs> going off topic, but yeah, very cool, and again, that happens in Mexico, too, where, you know, obviously there's a lot of corruption, and they'll get a lot of weapons from, like, uh, from the Mexican government. But you know that's not as common anymore. Because I tell you. The, the corruption. All the corrupt motherfuckers are getting fucked really hard in Mexico. Which is really cool to see again. Uh, anyways next picture. Ooh a Mexican marine. With an M60 E3 I believe. As you can see. <coughs> oh sorry. Throat's getting a little dry. Um, I believe this is a parade picture. But still you know they're going to use what they have obviously. And, uh, yeah, you can see uh, M60 E3, which I believe is the short version. Um, birdcage muzzle tip, very interesting. The flip sides, Picatinny rail. This guy is good as fuck. As you can see, uniform is brand spanking new. And all those 308 bullet belt, freaking awesome to see. And if you look at his back, he is armed with an FAL. Very cool. FN again. All right, FN be making some of the bestest weapons for everyone out there. And if it ain't FN, it's probably H and K. Um, but yeah, very awesome. As you can see, he's got his blood type on his shoulder in case he gets shot in combat and needs that extra blood. Got that elbow pads. They got new combat gloves. Freaking awesome to see. It's really cool. Like, wow. Wow. If you would have seen the Mexican military before... And then you look at this picture now, like, you wouldn't even believe it. Like, wow, the Mexican military has gotten its shit so straight. Freaking awesome to see. Anyways, next picture. Now, in this one, you can see a soldier walking away from a camera. Or, not really away from a camera, but there's some sort of event going on. You see a lot of dress uniforms, and obviously he's not really in combat wear. But he's got an FAL in 308. Freaking awesome. And it's not that super long FAL, because I know there's one with, like, the standard unfoldable stock with a crazy long barrel which is just ridiculous and it's it's just a nice medium-sized fal and i hear a lot of good things about the fal how it's reliable and very durable so you know it's a wise choice for the mexican military to use that although they also use the competitor which is the g3 so i wonder why they use both you know the mexican military cannot decide they're gun people deep down all right if you go to like again like i said if you go to a gun show in mexico i mean in in uh in california or anywhere in south america where there's a lot of hispanics 80 percent of that gun show is going to be mexicans all right mexicans love guns i'm i'm not shitting you dude all right we fucking love guns but yeah very cool FAL standard gear. As you can see, they're, the Mexican Marines are very inspired by the U.S. Marines because you can see his cap. It's it's a direct replica of what the U United States Marine Corps is using, you know, with the spiked cap, and it almost looks like a crown or whatnot. And, uh, like, honestly, like, the only difference is the camouflage, and I believe the collars are different. So, you know, obviously, and, and of course, you know, like that picture you saw before of Mexican Marines training with U.S. Marines, there's obviously a correlation there. You know, there's a lot of uh, cross-training and a lot of inspiration coming from the United States Marine Corps because, honestly, the United States Marines are the Marines, all right? Uh, it's no longer France or well, what other country. It was mainly France that would train everyone else's military back in the day, but now it's like... The U.S. military is the military, specifically the Marines. Next picture. <coughs> Over here, 
you have a Mexican operator. And what's interesting about this one is that he has one of them operator helmets in multicam. And he's got classic American woodland. And that's what I realized about the Mexican military is that their operators also have a lot of freedom in gear and weapons. Okay, because he's got, if you look at his trousers, he's got the, those, uh, you know, the Mexican army trousers that look like the Russian digital flora. And I, I assume he has a, he's got a pistol there, but I can't tell what it is. Um, again, might be a P7 because that's usually what they use. I believe that's an M249 because the stock folds to the side. And that's the only stocks I've seen that fold like that. And uh, it's very interesting because he has multicam and just such diverse gear. It's very cool to see and uh, very awesome to see Mexican operators. And a lot of these Mexican operators and special forces are trained by special forces in America. You know what I'm saying? In fact, fun fact. Uh, if you don't know about the Zetas cartel, there were actually... Um, a special forces made up by Mexico to defeat the cartel. So they got trained by Navy SEALs in America. Once they they sent them back to Mexico ready to defeat the cartel. You know what they did? They decided to be assholes and make their own cartel. Which is absolute trash. But don't worry guys. Uh, the Zetas. They're basically defeated. They're all fucking dead. The only thing that sucks about... Defeating a cartel is that it breaks into pieces and now you got a bunch of small cartels and that's basically what happened to the Zetas But anyways, uh, let's not go too off topic. This operator is looking Gucci as fuck Woodland bullet belt and everything this guy is he's set he's ready to go to war And as you can see you got the Virgen Maria in the background because Catholicism is the shit in Mexico, all right um, Over here Mexican Marines uh and ooh, I think one of them has the old caps. Yeah, if you look at the guy on the left, behind the guy all the way closest to the front, I think he has the old woodland cap, or it just may be a pattern thing. But yeah, something you'll notice about the Mexican Marine is those, those collars that cuff up like that. Those look really nice. So, U.S. Marines, hey man. Maybe you should consider some nice collars like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to diss or saying one is better than the other. Obviously, uh, you know, the training in the U.S. military is obviously superior. Uh, I don't know if you've seen Mexican combat footage, but, you know, you don't have to be a professional to notice some things are off. But, you know, they have been improving. And again, where does most of the where do the Mexican Marines get their training from? U.S. Marines. All right. And American operators a lot of times. You know what I'm saying? So let's not forget that. And again, they got FALs. But it seems to be some sort of parade here. And um, I'm not sure what those shorts are, shirts are for. Because I know they have the combat shirts that are like soft in the middle. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I forgot what it's called. Like those. Yeah. For the plate carriers or whatnot. So it's not entirely a BDU. Anyways, next picture. Oh, right here. Guardia Nacional chasing some of them uh border hoppers because honestly mexico has been neglecting its borders for the longest time and it's like it, it, it was great just seeing like finally you know mexico's deporting people you know because the mexico has been through so much that the mexican government needs to focus on the mexican people okay when it comes to mexico mexico first all right in America, when it comes to, like, America first, you know, it's it's not wrong to be fucking patriotic, okay? Mexicans are a very patriotic people, and it's fucking stupid because once they started deporting people from Mexico that come all over from South America, and let me tell you something, a lot of, there's a lot of gang members sneaking in through those fucking bullshit ass, um, what do you call them, um, refugee camps and shit, and Mexico's been, like, saying, like, nope, you ain't crossing here. You ain't crossing here because they were all trying to get America, sold the fake dream and bullshit like that. And, you know, a lot of fucking stupid ass liberals were using it as a time to say, oh, I guess the Mexicans are racist, too. And it's so fucking annoying. Like, basically, basically, if you're a nationalist or a patriot, you're racist to the fucking left leaning media. It's so fucking ridiculous and annoying. Um, but, yeah, as you can see, the National Guard is chasing a guy who's trying to cross to America. And, you know, they, they got to. You know, you just can't have a mess here. You know what I'm saying? And again, don't 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 get me wrong. I do feel sorry for the refugees and what they're dealing with. But 
you can't just let in a bunch of people from another country without a filter. You need a filter, all right? So at this point, it was just a straight up invasion of Mexico from all these South American countries, all right? I know Salvador, like Mexico, is getting its shit straight also. So it's great to see. But like you can't always be running away, all right? Like me, even I sometimes consider staying in California and fighting. You know what I'm saying? Like, because California is so goddamn tyrannical. And there's so many Californians, like liberal Californians, moving to other states in America. And they still vote like fucking idiots. You know what I'm saying? That's why a lot of people hate Californians all over the world. All right? It's crazy. (coughs) But yeah. As you can see, they have that white camouflage. I guess they wanted to give the the National Guard, the Guardia Nacional of Mexico, um, kind of like a UN effect. So not really camouflage, but to be noticed. And that's why they have the white camouflage. However, it looks very nice, very cool. But camouflage-wise, this shit's useless. It looks freaking awesome. I want some of it. But the only thing I would use it for is snow camouflage. But yeah, again, I guess they wanted a UN effect. So they could be more noticeable rather than um, kind of like a force of, hey, I'm here and I'm not trying to hide. You know what I'm saying? So very cool. And um, the guy on the left, he has uh, some of that army camouflage. You know, you will see the Guardia Nacional use gear of both the Marina of Mexico and the Mexican army. So that's really cool. As you can see, he's got a baton and they're just chasing that dude. But yeah, enough about the border. Very awesome that Mexico starts protecting its border. Because seriously, protect your goddamn borders. Alright? Have some patriotism in ya. Next picture. Over here, we have AMLO standing in front of the a couple of uh, the Mexican uh, National Guard. Guardia Nacional de Mexico. As you can see, they have the FX-08 rifle. Very cool. And they recently just made a carbine version of it, which is way shorter because, as you can see, that is a very long rifle, but obviously, a longer barrel, uh, there's going to be more distance to it. Or at least that's what I've heard from a lot of people. I mean, you know, sniper rifles are long for a reason, right? <laughs> Sorry, my throat's getting dry. But again, they have that beautiful white camouflage. The beautiful but useless. There are very few places where it snows in Mexico, but still, it looks very awesome. And again, I think they're going for like a UN effect, and that's why they're not really that camouflage into it, you know what I'm saying? But again, you'll see a lot of the Guardia Nacional use the the army camouflage of the Mexican military, you know what I'm saying? Uh, however, I do wonder why their magazines are empty. Do they really just not... Like, you gotta keep in mind that AMLO made this branch... To defeat corruption. Do you you not trust your troops? I mean, then again, you're in Mexico, all right? And the cartel, there's some sneaky motherfuckers, all right? They will take years and years just so they could fuck you really hard, all right? They'll be 90 and ready to die, but they got a grudge, and they're going to get back at you, all right? Don't get involved with the cartel. Don't think, oh, I'm just going to kill my way to the top and get rich, okay? Uh, It's very stupid when people look up to, like, Scarface and think he's the shit. That guy was a... Big example of a massive fuck up. Yeah, you got rich, but you died quick. Uh, 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 Live fast, die young. Shut the fuck up, okay? Don't get involved with the cartel. It's no fucking joke, okay? So, yeah. But still. As you can see, they got the flag. They're, like, in a parade position. You see some guys in the back with some M240 Bravos. Very cool. In white trucks. I believe they're Chevrolets, I'm not sure. But we also got to get into the vehicles. I don't think I got enough vehicle pictures in here. uh, But eventually we will look at them, so it's very awesome. Uh, President Amlo off to the left, and you know, you got a bunch of troops at attention with their rifles with new FX-08. And uh, unfortunately I forgot how to pronounce the name, but it's like an Aztec name. And it's got a cool Aztec serpent on the side. It's very awesome. Next picture. Over here. Mexican police and yes the Mexican police also uses blueberries which is very interesting so honestly if you get some blueberries from the Navy like surplus blueberries um, you could honestly use it for Mexican military reenactments or Mexican Policia Federal in this case I believe this is an ACR or something similar to the SCAR but I've seen these rifles I've seen the civilian variant and uh, they look like some pretty cool rifles. I think you could use them in Modern Warfare 2 and they're freaking awesome. And yeah, the Mexican military uses them. I'm, I'm telling you, 
There's not a gun they don't use. However, it does have the regular standard uh, flip-up sights. So, you know, again, if you're in the Mexican military, just buy some goddamn sights, okay? I know I have a few people in the Mexican military that follow me. Buy some laser sights, all right? And uh, as you can see, he has some sort of holster on the side that's empty. So that's pretty interesting. Again, I think he has that. I'm not sure what that pistol is. I'm pretty sure it's the P7 again. Uh, Velcro. Good gear going on. And not many mag pouches. So that's kind of worrisome, okay? Uh, I'm a very just-in-case type of person. So I would carry as many mags as I can. Okay, I'm going to be, I'm gonna be uh, going to boot camp soon and going into the military. I don't care what they tell me. I'm going to carry as many mags as I can. And I'm sure I'm allowed to. I'm not sure. Unless they directly tell me. I don't know. Obviously, I'm not a veteran. But, you know, I'm I'm a very just-in-case type of person. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, next picture. Ooh. <coughs> a nice picture of a Mexican soldier in a dress uniform in that long, beautiful coat. I love the Mexican military dress uniforms. All right? They compete real good with what they got here. All right? Honestly... I, I'm going to have to give it to the U.S. Marines for the nicest dress uniform for the dress blues and the red stripes. They just look so nice, so classy, and they got those classic collars. But I tell you, if the U.S. Marines ever get like a winter coat, it should look somewhat like this. Beautiful, very classic, very vintagey. And you even got the dress dagger with the nice gloves. And you even have a freaking dress eagle. Okay, it doesn't get more badass than that, so it's freaking awesome freaking awesome who knows maybe i could design the next dress uniform for the u.s marines of course the uniform hasn't changed and for good reason because it's perfect the way it is but you know in the future if they need designers hey i wouldn't mind hooking it up anyways next picture ah over here mexican military arresting some kid probably some dumb kid getting involved with the cartel all right kids are very impressionable and they'll do whatever is cool and lit you know what i'm saying um kids don't get involved with the fucking cartel. You're going to end up waking up killed or decapitated or shoved into a fringe, chopped into pieces, fucking butt-ass naked, all right? You touch the cartel, you are fucked. Whether it's the military or a rival cartel or your own cartel, don't get involved with the fucking cartel, okay? You're asking for death. But again, soldier all the way on the left, army camouflage and armed with a heckler and Koch mp5 very cool in nine millimeter in case you didn't know but knowing you guys you probably already know that h and k g3 freaking awesome with a grenade launcher all right these guys are no joke they are in their own territory and they got explosive shit so uh, hopefully there is no collateral damage although there probably is and they got the old vest the two guys on the left have the old kevlar vest as you can see the guy on the right has a plate carrier very cool and i tell you it's so hard to get this kind of shit i'm so happy i got a helmet cover of one of these anyways let me loop my throat and look at the next picture next picture another old picture of the mexican military i forgot when this was i think this was like in the early 2000s 2001 something like that as you can see they have the classic american woodland the Mexican version because it has the shoulder boards and everything. And again, they got those dress ribbons, which is just weird. Why would you wear dress ribbons in a combat uniform? I guess it's kind of cool. I know the Germans did it and it looks super classy, but at the end of the day, it's just another thing that could get caught on something and fuck your combat experience. <laughs> I'm talking about it like if it's you're trying to have a good time or some shit. But um, yeah, all armed with G3s. You'll still see a lot of G3 action in the Mexican military. Last time I've been to Mexico, they were still using G3s in 308, all right? Those guns are no joke. 308 will fuck you up ugly, all right? And again, they got the grenade launcher rounds. I wonder if they used less than lethal on those grenade launchers. But, you know, who knows? Um, I would like to have an interview with a Mexican soldier. That'd be freaking awesome. But, um, you know what? Yeah, maybe next time... If I ever go to Tijuana anytime soon, I'll see if I can have a talk with one of the soldiers. But obviously, they're going to be doing a job, and they're probably going to ignore me or whatnot. But still, very awesome picture. Anyways, next picture. Okay, another example here of the Mexican Policia Federal. All right. They all got standard M4s, fixed sights, very cool rifles. And look at the guy all the way on the right. He's got that weird-ass AR-10 rifle thing. It's like an M4 in 308. It's so weird. And again, like... Do you guys know what the fuck this rifle is? It, it looks like they they grabbed the lower and upper receiver of an M4 and just stretched the shit out of it. Like, I shit you not, it looks like someone edited it and just squished the picture and stretched it out. 
It's so weird. It's it, it's an M4 that's been stretched out. It's so weird. I assume it's in 308, and it's that, that gun is really freaking freaking me out, man. I've never seen it. I've only seen it in the Mexican military, and it's so goddamn weird. But yeah, very cool Mexican police. I don't think they have plate carriers. It looks like they just have tactical molly vests, so they could strap on a bunch of shit. And uh, yeah, it seems like most of them have sidearms. Very cool. Very tactical, very classy. However, they do look a bit under-equipped, uh, at least in my opinion, because where are their magazines? Where are their extra magazines? I see their pockets bulging out, so that might be it, but still, you need something more efficient where you could just pull out those mags quick. Anyways, next picture. Another Mexican Marine in that old Digi Woodland camouflage. And again, look at that cap. Very inspired by the United States Marine Corps. And they have the M16A2s with the fixed sights. Very cool. And um, still recommend them getting laser sights. Obviously, you could get those mounts for the carry handle and put a sight there. But, you know, uh, I guess they're just not really in the mood for putting in sights. Like, if I were in the Mexican military, I would bring my own sights from home. Like, what's wrong with that? Like, I, in Mexico, you're, you're not really... Like, it's really hard to get a gun because there's only one gun shop in the entire damn country. And, uh, obviously it's in Mexico City, but it's worth it. If you live in a dangerous country, it's worth having a fucking gun, alright? <laughs> Basically, do you want to be a soldier in a time of peace or do you want to be a fucking hippie in a time of war? I'd rather be a soldier 24-7. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people keep on asking me, why do you want to join the infantry? Why don't I want to join the infantry, all right? Well, then again, everyone gets infantry training, so what am I saying? Anyways, that's personal, so let's talk about that later. But yeah, very cool. He's got that awesome wood. I love this woodland camouflage. I almost got a hold of it, but some fuckface decided to beat me in the bid. Last five seconds. What a jerk. What a jerk. And a black tactical vest. Very cool with a Mexico patch. Very awesome. Standard M16. I wouldn't doubt it if this M16 has seen action in the Gulf War. Probably some American surplus shit. Very cool. All right. You know, Mexican military, you know, they, they, they at the time they didn't have the best, but they made the best out of it. You know, very cool. Over here. Oh, this one's really cool. And you got another Mexican Marine with that automatic open bolt M16. I forgot what they're called. I think they're Canadian. I don't know if it was Colt or whatnot, but these things are so cool. And as you can see, he has the nutsack on it. The double drum mag on that M16. Freaking cool. And on top of that, what does he have in his back? Another M4. This guy's strapped to the fucking tooth, all right? This guy arrived here looking for action, and he fucking wants some. But let me let me tell you something. People saw that drum mag with the M4 on his back also, and they ain't fucking with him. This guy is serious business. He's got two guns, and he's got overkill, all right? That is crazy. That is awesome. This guy is cool. Uh, however... If you know the name of this gun, please give it to me. I forgot what it's called, but I have seen the Mexican military rarely use it. And this is I, this is one of the few guys that's gotten to use it. I've seen some in the hands of civilians, obviously with special permission. And uh, it's just really cool. But as you can see, he has the old woodland camouflage. He is a Marine. And, uh, you know, this is, was probably taken in like the, the late 2000s, you know, like probably 2008, 2009, 10, somewhere there. Because Mexico was one of the first countries to use digital camouflage. Obviously, it seemed to be the United States Marine Corps that started the whole digital camouflage trend. But, uh, yeah, Mexico was kind of keeping up with the cool kids also. Anyways, next picture. Oh, so this is the new rifle. Am I right? It looks like a G36, right? This is the FX08. So, so we... No, because I know Mahuitl is the Aztec sword, but it's something like that. Just look up FX08 and you'll find it. I might be even saying the wrong name because I know there's an FX09. But as you can see, this is a long version and it's covered in Picatinny rail. looks very similar to the G36. And if you look at those grips, it's dotted. It's not lined up for that extra good grip. So it's freaking awesome. A Grantham, if you're watching this, do a review on this rifle. I don't know how the fuck you're going to get that your hands on this rifle. But it'd be really awesome if you did a review on it. You know what I'm saying? Um... But yeah, it's got a charging handle on the side. It's got them nice fixed sights right there. Hell, I think you could remove... Yeah, you could remove the sights. So, 
if for some reason someone removes the sites in the Mexican military, you might be able to buy some. That'd be kind of cool, right? You know, buying some, uh, who knows, maybe some parts kits for sale online. But as you can see, it, it even has like the the magazine links uh, like the G36. So you could combine the magazines and then you reload because the magazines are stuck together. That's very interesting. The one on the left seems to be like a carbine version. And it just looks like overall a good rifle. I mean, it's built like a G36, and I have used the G36 Airsoft. I know a lot of you guys are going to be shitting on me for my Airsoft experience and comparing it to like a real-life situation. But it's the closest I have to the real thing. You know what I'm saying? I did sell it, though. But yeah, very cool rifle. It's got the stamp on it and everything, and it's got a collapsible stock and Picatinny rail. So you can put whatever sights you want. And it has been field tested, so it looks like a good quality rifle, but, you know, I would love to see a Garand Thumb review. That would be freaking awesome. All right, anyways, next picture. <laughs> Over here, you have a Mexican Marine in all black. Uh, at least that's what the picture was. Um, humiliating some sort of cross-dressing cartel member. Um, so, you know, I mostly put this one here, not for gear, but it was just an interesting picture of uh, just, you know... You know, Marines taking, uh, Mexican Marines taking pictures with, uh, you know, just humiliating cartel members and shit. So, you know, that's a very dangerous thing to do, all right? That's why there are no heroes in Mexico. They all wear masks and they all do their duties. There is no reputation. There is no honors. There is nothing, all right? It's just stoic honor. And that's very admirable, you know what I'm saying? To commit to such brave actions and fucking kick ass without the fame you know what i'm saying like to some extent don't get me wrong they deserve the attention and all that shit but unfortunately the cartel they're such low blowers that if you like this police in mexico actually got his name out there and he was known for being a hero the first thing the cartel did was kill his family all right so really fucking sucks you got to stay anonymous all right who knows how many people in Mexico have, you know, the Mexican version of the Medal of Honor. But it won't be, you know, it won't be out there because, you know, or else their families will get killed. It's just ridiculous. And, uh, there, you know, there's no attention towards these things. There's no, there's nothing in the history books because it can't be written because the fucking cartel will kill their families. It's disgusting. It's so fucking annoying. So, you know. I pray for these guys every day, and you should too, because technically this is your problem too. All right, these cartels, where do they sell the drugs? In the USA. So, you know, the Mexican troops are helping you out whether you like it or not. Anyways, next picture over here. Ooh, you got some Mexican special forces with some Barrett 50 calibers ready to fuck shit up. Of course, this is just a parade. Again, you will never see berets in combat. I mean, of course, it's a parade. Why would they be that square? Like, they're not going to fucking march towards the cartel like some sort of Civil War era marching shit. But yeah, very cool. Black uniforms looking tactical as fuck with Barrett 50 calibers. Freaking awesome. And uh, yeah, that's something that's very common. They also will put Barrett 50 calibers on top of vehicles, which is very interesting. And um, like, I've only seen Mexico do that. But I mean, yeah, I wonder why. Because I know they use the Browning 50 caliber. Every now Wait, no, I don't think they do. I know the cartel does. If you haven't seen that video of the whole Chapo Sun chaos shit. So, you know. Um, but anyways, next picture, because there's not really much to look at here. Ooh, right here. Another good example. And Mexican Army soldier demonstrating the H&K P7. It's a pistol by Heckler & Koch. I think it's a 9mm. Correct me if I'm wrong. But, uh, yeah, it's got a tactical vest. Uh, this was some sort of convention for journalists. And they were basically showing them, uh, you know, their gear and what they work with. And uh, it was just a big, uh, some sort of convention. Anyways, next picture. What do you see? using what do you see on, on the mexican soldier on the left he's using a browning high power that is a vintage weapon but it still stands up to the shit today so that's very cool that is a first time i saw a mexican soldier use a browning high power really freaking awesome i believe it's a nine millimeter 13 round gun um invented obviously by john moses browning and it's basically a 
It's basically like where the CZ originated from. You know what I'm saying? It's a great design used by the German army, the American military, and shit. A lot of people use the Browning High Power, all right? It's a really cool gun. And as you can see, the journalist on the right has the, the FN pistol. I don't know anything about the P7 or whatnot. I don't know if it's a good pistol. I assume it is. It's made by Heckler and Koch, and they make a lot of good weapons. And the Mexican military uses it, you know? Their standards are not low. Yeah, they use a lot of surplus, but they use good surplus. You know what I'm saying? They don't use trash weapons. So, yeah, very cool, very cool. And, again, they use a Pazga helmet. Very awesome. Next picture. A close look of the FN P7. Very cool pistol. And, again, with all the journalists over there. They gotta be careful because journalists are some of the biggest fucking retards and uh, they'll flag people. Anyways, next picture. A Mexican Marine with an M60 E3, I believe that's what it's called. I believe that's what the short, short version, more modern versions of the M60s are called. And obviously fed in 308, covered in Picatinny rail. So you can put sights on that shit, so that's freaking awesome. And uh, he's got that new Gucci Marine, Mexican Marine camouflage and... Uh, as you can see, if you look at the bullet belt, some of them are red tipped. So what I assume that is, is tracer. So we can know where his rounds are at. But at the same time, uh, I have heard that tracers are very filthy for your gun. And they will dirty the shit out of your barrel and corrode the shit out of your gun. So um, this is just what I heard from a friend that has way more experience in firearms than me. If you're shooting tracers, clean the shit out of your gun afterwards. I know I am. I just clean my gun in general because I want them to last and I take care of my guns. So, yeah. But still, very cool. Obviously, you need to see the direction of the bullet if you're not going to use laser sights or anything. But, yeah. Freaking awesome picture. Um, possible screensaver or whatnot. Anyways, next picture. Ooh! Over here, you have a Mexican operator armed with an F-2000, I believe it's called. I don't know what the maker of this gun is. But again, another gun that's used by the Mexican military, I tell you. And uh, as you can see, oh, he's got the desert camouflage. Uh, you haven't seen the desert camouflage yet. That's what it looks like. It's uh, basically the same shit as the jungle camouflage. The only difference is it's tan. And it's all speckled in different brown colors and dark green and shit. Very good for the desert. And uh, you'll see a lot of troops in Tijuana use this desert camouflage. And uh, trust me, I've seen it for myself. And uh, it sucks because I haven't taken pictures. But when I go there again, I will take a lot of pictures. As you can see, it's got some sort of holographic sight. And uh, I heard the guns on these, like the magazine drops real easy. At least that's what I heard from someone. But I don't know. They look like pretty good weapons. And on top of that, since it's a bullpup, it's very short barreled. And it seems very uh, ideal for uh, indoor combat. And also, most of it is made out of polymer. So it feels like a fucking toy. Again, at least this is, this is what I heard. I've never fucked with this weapon before. But I do want to. It looks very cool and very lightweight. Very ideal for like a home defense situation or uh, indoor thing. Actually, no. I probably use something in 45 ACP for home defense. Because, you know, I want something with stopping power. And that it will take like a hollow point. You know, I don't want to fucking shoot the shit out of a home invader and kill whatever's behind him. You know, whether it's my brother or my mother or someone. You know what I'm saying? It's quite the pickle. Or, yeah, whatever. Anyways, next picture. Ooh, some more Mexican tier 3 operators. With a big old stamp on their chest saying, Ejército Mexicano. As you can see, they have the operator helmets mixed with multicam. And I love that mix of the Mexican jungle camouflage, army camouflage, mixed in with the multicam. And I realized that, that the Mexican military has been using a lot of plate carriers and multicam, which is very cool to see. And as you can see, they have some sort of like, I believe it's some sort of scar age. You got the dot sight, you got a slanted grip. These guys are Gucci'd out as fuck. I wouldn't doubt it if these troops were trained in the U.S. Uh, in fact, a lot of them are. A lot of the Mexican special forces are trained in the U.S. So these guys are no joke. They're real deal. And they are loyal to the maximum. You try to bribe them, they will punch a hole in your face. Okay? These guys ain't to be fucked around with. They ain't no pussy ass Zeta cartel. You know what I'm saying? So it's very freaking awesome. And another thing you'll notice is that their these uh, their combat boots are very similar to like jungle boots, and they even have camouflage on them, which is very cool. So very awesome, Mexico stepping up its game. All right, next picture. Again, another example of multicam and plate carrier. As you can see, they got a grenade launcher, um, 
which is the first time I've seen it in the Mexican military. And it's a female soldier in all blue. So, oh shit, is this police? And another thing I've noticed. Look at the side of that Jeep. You see that tubing right there on the left? That looks like an RPG-7. I've never seen the Mexican military use Warsaw weapons. Now, I don't know if this is like some sort of a capture. Like a capture from the cartel. Because the cartel has been caught with freaking RPG-7s straight out of Russia. All right? So some of the, oh, Sorry about that. Just a random text. But yeah, uh, I would assume this is some sort of a trophy capture RPG-7. Because I've never seen the Mexican... Dude, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I keep on getting texts. But, um, again, yeah, I've never seen the Mexican military use, um, um, Warsaw weapons or anything of, like, Russian descent. As you can see, the guy in the bottom has an M249 saw. Freaking awesome. Wait, nope, nope. If you look at the bottom left of the picture, you'll see, uh, rocket tips. I guess they use, it, it's probably, like, you know how, like, when a foreign country makes a weapon that's kind of like the Galil with the AK-47? It's probably Mexico's own version of the RPG-7, you know what I'm saying? i got to look more into this. This is very interesting because I have never seen Mexico use Russian weapons or anything of the Warsaw type or of communist background, you know what I'm saying? So this is very interesting and this is very new to me. Uh, so I'm definitely going to look into that. Anyways, next picture. Ooh, another picture, Policia Federal, armed with an FNFAL with a fixed stock. Very beautiful. That is a gorgeous weapon. It is just very elegant, very beautiful. The curves on that rifle is just so beautiful. I love it. It's in 308. As you can see, he's got a plate carrier, the blue uniform, and basically all decked out. Uh, Looks like he's got magazine pouches because for some reason I see that in the Mexican police and military a lot. Well, they'll be decked out, but they won't, like, where do you put your mags? You know what I'm saying? Like, do you really just go into battle or patrolling with one one magazine? You know? It, 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 did, Mexican, did the Mexican military just spend all its money on literally every gun ever, but had no more money left for ammo? You know what I'm saying? So it's quite the situation. But as you can see, it's, uh... Tamul, Tamal, Tamalipas. Sorry, uh, my Mexican, I mean, my Spanish is a little bit rusty. But yeah, Fuerza Tamulipas. Policia Estatal. If you read in the side of the truck right there. So, very cool. Um, FAL, freaking awesome to see. And uh, the, the, you'll see a lot of Brazilian troops use it a lot too, the FAL. So, that's very cool. Anyways, next picture. The FX08 carbine version. As you can see, there is no spring going into the stock. So it's got a very similar stock to those, like, what do you call them? Like those, have you seen those AK, AKMs with the foldable stocks? And it's weird, but that's very cool. Look how short that thing is. It's got Picatinny rail, again, with the plastic magazine. So, like, this whole thing is made out of polymer. I've done my research. And uh, again, Picatinny Rail, this guy's an operator. He's got, it, it looks like art Mexican Army because of the camouflage and everything. And um, look at that thing. Ideal for indoor combat or urban situations. Freaking awesome. And look, look how that, that grip goes onto the magazine. Look at that. Like, you can literally grip it that close. That is so interesting. I've never seen that. So, like. You know how, like, sometimes people will shoot and they'll grip it, like, half on the lower receiver and half on the magazine? So it has a grip for that. That is so interesting. That's very cool. I haven't noticed that before. I know. And again, I'm not a gun expert, but I know, I guess, more than the average person. You know, I've been a gun owner for, like, three years before the pandemic. I am not a fucking panic buyer. All right? Panic buyers have ruined it for all of us. And again, oh, in case I didn't mention, this thing is fed in 5.56, obviously. Um, so, yeah, very cool rifle. Next picture. Again, another close look at the FX-08. This seems to be the medium-sized one because there is one with a longer barrel. Picatinny rail, as you can see, it has the snake on the side. And it's very Aztec-inspired. And they went for the grip with the polka dots, you know what I'm saying? So, not stripes, kind of like, uh, what do you, you want to call it? Uh, what's a good example? Um... Well, I can't think of an example at the top of my... Oh, kind of like the M16 grips. 
how they have lines like if you look at the old m16a2 it'll have some lines so your fingers could get that nice groove and grip you know what i'm saying and it's got a grip in the front that also pops out into a bipod which is very cool and it's foldable so these guys really thought about this you know what i'm saying they're ready they're ready for this shit man so very cool very cool anyways next picture again a female mexican soldier and again uh, women have been joining the Mexican military in record numbers. There is a lot of opportunity in the military in general, no matter what country you're in. Unless you're in North Korea or in certain countries. But the Mexican military, um, uh, they got a lot of benefits. They'll really take care of you, kind of like the U.S. military here. Like, honestly, like Mexico is getting its shit straight. And it's like, it, it, Mexico's becoming America part two. <laughs> Well, of course, Mexico wants to be its own individual, but, you know, um, like, legit, after the military, if Mexico really does get its shit straight, I wouldn't mind living in Guanajuato for the rest of my life and just going to Mexico, I mean, going to America every now and then to visit fans and do cool shit, all right? Damn it, I give away my future plan, but, yeah, very cool, very awesome uniform. They still kind of got the waist belt, and as you can see, the if you look at the, what do they call them? Uh, white straps no not white straps though the webbing or webbing it's very similar to atlas gear it's just black and uh, uh like honestly you'll see mexican troops with atlas gear and if it's not atlas gear it's stupid similar and you can see the women in the back have dress uniforms very nice very similar to like the vietnam war era army dress uniforms just different boots and different stuff so it's yeah very cool very cool uniform very nice berets and, and she's pretty good looking dude all right a lot of women and the U.S. military look like fucking bulldogs, but goddamn, <laughs> you know. Oh, oh, this is a good one. You got Mexican Army soldiers armed with an H and K, I believe, thirty-three uh, and five five six. It's basically an MP five and five five six or a G three. A G. Yeah, basically, if the MP five and the G three fucked. Uh, an H&K 33 would come out in 5.56 <laughs> you know what I'm saying and the guy in the back has an M4 with fixed sights very cool and these guys look tactical as fuck however there is a photographer here and I believe this is in training they all have fixed sights obviously no Picatinny but still very good reliable rifles at least from what I've heard of you know what I'm saying I believe Garantham has done a review on the H&K 33 so take a look at that if you don't fucking trust me anyways next picture more Guardia Nacional with that snow camouflage, but again, UN effect, black helmets and everything. And, uh, you know, I'm really looking forward to what the Guardia Nacional is going to do. And if they're going to branch out into, like, special forces and different branches within the Guardia Nacional de Mexico. <coughs> oh, my throat is so dry. But, yeah, they're armed with the FX. And, uh, obviously, you know, you will see a lot of times in riots... Where the Mexican military is just not handling the situation the best. Like I have seen a picture where a bunch of shithead illegal immigrants from Africa think they could just fucking walk in freely into Mexico. And the thing is they weren't like they had riot shields. They had gear. But the Mexican soldiers were straight up getting in fist fights with the illegal immigrants. It was insane. So obviously you know they need better training obviously. But at least they have that spirit, you know, they have that patriotic nationalism of protecting your country and, uh, you know, being cautious with what you're letting into the country. You know what I'm saying? You need that filter. All right. It's not racism. It's just like it's common fucking sense that, you know, you can't just have open fucking borders. And if you do support open fucking borders, then that's just a sign that you're fucking privileged and rich and you've been living in a nice, pretty area yourself, all right? I know what it's like to have shitheads here, all right? In my hometown, we're getting a lot of trash from L.A. and this place is quickly becoming a fucking shithole, okay? Anyways, <laughs> that was a rant off topic, but you get my point, right? You know, I'm very happy with what the Guardia Nacional is doing in Mexico, Anyways, Mexican Marines looking like fucking Aussies. Freaking badass, all right? Next major. Oh, <coughs> my throat's getting a little dry. As you can see, they have those new Gucci-ass Colt M4s. Look at that. Camouflage, and they're all blended in nice with their combat shirts. They got the nice hats. They're ready for jungle combat. That's freaking awesome. And it looks like they have installed knee pads 
on their trousers. So that's very good because if you look at a lot of troops during the Iraq war, a lot of U.S. troops in the Iraq war, you'll always see knee pads down to ankles. They will never stick where they're supposed to stick. So it's better to just get like knee pads that are installed into the trousers despite them being very expensive. You know what I'm saying? These troops are very well set. The only thing the Mexican military needs to invest in is optics and sights you know what i'm saying that's the only thing they need because why does the american military use scopes why do they all use acox and dot sights because it's needed it's necessary and it gives you the upper hand when it comes to like fighting at night or it, it just it just helps you know what i'm saying and i fucked around with you know a couple friends dot sights you know it really does help all right and, and i'm talking about the range i'm not talking about airsoft you know what i'm saying i uh, like yes you know iron sights definitely better than nothing you know what i'm saying and lately there's been a lot of movies where people will just shoot with bare rail nothing else on the gun it's absolutely insane but yeah very cool as you can see this guy seems to be like a sergeant i'm not sure what they call him in mexico sargento and then you got a private i don't know what a private is in spanish so very interesting these guys are very decked out very cool next picture Ooh, this one's really cool. You got a Mexican operator with a Scar H. I'm not sure if he has an optic there, but he has a khaki vest. He even got the cowboy boots and everything. This thing just yells out Mexican. You know what I'm saying? He's operator as fuck, but he's also bien chido. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's uh, he's got the boots. He's got the boot cut jeans and shit. But he's also tactical as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you gotta go to the fucking El Club... Or dance some kumba, uh, what's it called? Oh, fuck it. You know, when you gotta go dancing at like 5 p.m., but in the morning you gotta do operator shit. But yeah, as you can see, he's patrolling what seems to be a very dangerous street. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, this is the reality in a lot of places in Mexico. You know, a lot of troops are just gonna be patrolling because the cartel, they operate everywhere and it's just very dangerous but as you can see his mag pouches are stuffed this guy knows what the fuck he's doing and i wouldn't doubt it if he's gotten if he's gotten training in the us of a all right because again you know hate to admit it but uh, america they have the best training combat system you know what i'm saying they have the best training and on top of that you got to keep in mind that the us the us of a is always at war or always seeing some kind of combat all right that's why everyone goes to the U.S. to get training. All right? You'll see that a lot. Anyways, next picture. We've already seen a lot of pictures. All right. Over here, we have more Mexican soldiers. And what do they have? Scars. Look, this guy's got a dot sight and he's got his iron sights. Very cool. This guy is ready to go. And if you look at the guy on the left, he has like a French-styled grenade launcher. So that's really cool and interesting to see. I've seen French troops use these type of Scar H's. And they both have like really nice dot sights. These guys are like they've been invested into. You know what I'm saying? And they got that army camouflage. They got uh, I mean these guys are just decked out. These guys are the. These guys are probably like well trained. Like the more Gucci their gear is. The more training they've gotten. That's uh, like they invest a lot. The Mexican government invests in to like the real deal guys you know what i'm saying and uh as you can see oh he has a patch the guy in the right the guy in the right has a patch that with a roman helmet or says kick ass mode on <laughs> fucking awesome right on dude right on all right i hope you fuck up the cartel you know what i'm saying and they got those uh those polymer mags really awesome very cool weapons and these rifles keep in mind scars are very expensive rifles um so wow this is just really cool black tactical pouches and everything anyways uh oh wow that was our last picture well guys holy shit it has been a freaking hour but i hope you enjoyed this video and usually yeah i do take along with these pictures picture videos and uh that's why i picked very few pictures but there's just so many goddamn good pictures of the mexican military with either cool gear or doing cool shit and it's just very awesome to look at but you know i don't know if you stayed in here to watch the entire video but you know if you did thank you so much like and subscribe mucho love take care and i appreciate you watching an entire fucking hour of this if you skipped fuck you watch the whole thing <laughs> i'm just kidding i'm just kidding but you know obviously not everyone could just sit in front of a screen and just look at shit but anyways guys like and subscribe much love take care 
and I hope you enjoyed this video. It's going to take forever to edit, but we'll make the best of it.